Hello there, it's Hilly with the Malti Emperor Report. Lots going on, so we're going to jump into it and we're going to see how badly we can abuse the Spanish language today. Si, esta es Torreta Tropical. Karen, Karen está aquí. ¿Dónde está mi satélite? Satélite por aquí. Por aquí, esta es Tormenta Tropical, Karen. Y Karen está moviendo hacia los Estados Unidos. Los Estados Unidos. Y se esperan lluvias por aquí y por aquí en los pr próximo día. Próximo día o algo. Y se esperan vientos por aquí en viernes o sábado. Sí. Algo así. Y los peligros afectando tierra son vientos y mareada ciclónica y lluvias. Lluvias, lluvias, lluvias. Por esta parte. Para, para esta parte en purple. Sí. Mm, purple. Purple no es una palabra español. Hay una vigilancia de huracán por aquí y vigilancia de tormenta tropical por aquí en el momento y es la verdad esta es Karen, Karen está moviendo hacia los Estados Unidos es la verdad y por aquí en el Atlántico si sí, hay depresión tropical Jerry si sí, y Jerry se prevé que Jerry convertirse en un baja remanente en el siguiente día o algo sí algo, algo, algo. ¿Qué es lo que shows? ¿Qué es lo que shows, we? Y por aquí hay una zona de probabilidad de 10% en el momento y 20% en los próximos 5 días. Y en el noroeste pacífico hay muchas tormentas. Muchas tormentas. Aquí está tormenta tropical Fito y aquí está la depresión tropical 23, 23 creo que sí, y creo que esta, esta en el mar es el solo aviso en el momento, aviso del mar por aquí, aviso de tiempo, tiempo, tifón, tifón es la palabra, sí, y por aquí en el Arabian Sea, no sé de palabra por, para esa zona, sí, tiene una zona, una zona de probabilidad baja. No puedo recordar la palabra en ese momento. O oh, algo así. And that is it in Spanish. Wait, I'm supposed to say. Y eso es todo en español para hoy. And I still, I have no idea if that's even correct Spanish. Yes, so. This is Tropical Storm Karen. Karen's gonna, they're expecting rains, heavy rains for these areas for the next day or two. And winds are, so, uh, are expected to affect these areas. Tropical storm level conditions are expected to start sometime Friday. And potentially hurricane level conditions are expected to start on Saturday, I do believe, with this thing. And I believe this is, this is going to be the, if it reaches hurricane status, as they're predicting, Hurricane Karen. I believe Karen will be the second, I'm about to say tornado, that's not the word, the second hurricane period of the Atlantic season at all. Right, and I believe this may be the first landfalling U.S. storm to occur this year. Lots of stuff has hit over in Mexico, but nothing, if I remember correctly, has hit the United States. Over here in the far out Atlantic is Jerry. Jerry predicted to become a remnant low soonish in the next day or two. And I forget which of these makes it. There you go. So Jerry could be bringing some rains and... Possibly some lightish winds, I don't know, to the Azores Islands, but there's nothing in the NHC forecast about the, the effects on the Azores Islands, basically. And then over here, got this area of probability, 10% at the moment, 20% in the next five days. And of course, over here, we've got Tropical Storm, Vitao, I still have no idea how to pronounce that. Well, I believe this is the only warning that's in effect right now. This is a warning, a typhoon level warning, marine warning out in the purple area because Taiwan, it's not close enough quite yet for them to actually have any land hazards. At least I couldn't find any information on it. And this thing, according to the JTWC, a high chance of tropical cyclone formation. I think that's out of date there. 23, tropical depression, 23. That's what this thing is. Yeah. So that thing could end up being a problem again and looks like it's going to hit a similar-ish area. And then over here, out in the Arabian Sea, we've got a low chance of tropical cyclone formation in the next 24 hours per the JTWC. So that is what is going on, which is quite a lot. And this is, of course, 
I don't know, the biggest the 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 biggest news for the US in quite some time. It was supposed to be I don't know, an active season and then we only just recently had a hurricane. Well, yeah. I don't know what I'm good with that. Yeah, so we'll move on or something. So that's what's going on in the land of tropical cyclones. In the land of US severe thunderstorm weather, there actually is some stuff going on. No thing, no thing. No thing. That's how you pronounce nothing is no thing, right, at the moment. No mesoscale discussions, watches, no warnings in effect, but there is probability today. This would be the map showing the probability of 58 mile per hour greater winds, 15% chance. Similar-ish map showing the probability of one inch or larger hail. And this thing, smallish-ish. I like that word ish. Apparently just put ish on the end of anything. 5% chance of a tornado. So yeah, that's something to pay attention to. But something to really pay attention to. This is the highest probability we've had in a while. Tomorrow, it's there's two things on this map. There is the highest probability of anything occurring, which is this purple area with the 45% chance. So for instance, what would the 45% mean? You pick this random point in Iowa, and that means that if you took that point, you drew a 25 mile radius circle around it, that means that there is a 45% chance of something happening inside of that 25 mile radius circle. So nearly a one in two chance of something. You know, it won't necessarily hit you, but it could affect a neighbor within 25 miles of you, that sort of thing. And then the black hatched area is where it could be the significant winds, the significant hail, or the strong tornadoes. So if you go on to read this, let's see if it's still highlighted. It is. It's actually sounding like the black hatched area could be for the EF2 a greater tornadoes, because it says including large hail and tornadoes, one or two possibly strong. And I think the strong, when they use the word strong, I think that is the EF2 a greater. So that could be what we are looking at tomorrow as a possibility. Doesn't mean, of course, that it would occur, but it means that the conditions are what not the favorable. So if you're in this area, you should pay attention tomorrow. But after that, it, it, it tapers off. Or it's predicted to taper off a little bit. But yeah, so just hang on or something. SevereWeatherTV.com is the official homepage of the screencast. Wikiwix is W I C K E D W X dot com. And Cyclocane is C Y C L O C A N E dot com. We turn on everything. There you go. There is everything, including the South Pacific, where nothing is happening at the moment. Yes. And that is it for today. And hopefully, you're staying safe out there. <laughs>